Hi, I'm Peter Sidwell and welcome to my Quick Kitchen. This series is all about creating delicious, nutritious, tasty recipes that don't break the bank. My target is to feed you and four people for a fiver. Now this recipe, I've served this in Michelin star private dining environments and I've made it for lunch for the family. It is cheap, but delicious. So, I will show you how to do it. This is soup and a loaf of bread, it is super quick. Me and Emily worked this out, it's actually cost three quid. It's not bad, that is it. Cheapest vegetable going, white onions. I've got three white onions, and I've got a whole bulb of garlic, okay? We're gonna douse it in oil, so that it can just roast. Now it's in the skins. You've tried this before, haven't you, Emily? Yeah. Surprised you how tasty it is, isn't it? Mm. When there's not a lot that goes into this dish. And I would definitely scale my recipe up, scan the QR code along the bottom, it'll take you to the website, you can get the recipe there, scale it up, whack it in the freezer for another day. It is really, really easy. So, got some oil on my onions, I'm going to season it with a bit of salt, and then we're going to whack them in the oven for an hour, okay, until they're really soft and squidgy. And that's kind of most of the cooking bit done. I whack those into the oven, I'll get these ones out. So, here's the ones I made earlier. This is what they want to look like, okay? Look how squidgy they are, yeah? And they've just cooked inside their own skins, so they're absolutely delicious. I'm just gonna put them into a pan, okay? So I've got a pan here, I've got my vegetable stock, just a pint, that's it, okay? Pint of vegetable stock, in it goes. Could you use, I forgot to ask before, could you use red onions for this? You could, a... but you're, um, they are slightly more expensive, uh, they're slightly sweeter, and you end up with a kind of weird murky colour. Oh, Whereas yeah. with this, you end up with a sort of creamy colour yeah. on your soup, so it's more done for visual. Yeah. Okay? So all you need to do is take, snip off with your scissors, can you see that all right, Emily? Yeah. Snip the end off, so that's the root, and then just squeeze it in. All right? Wow, well, that's quite satisfying, isn't it? It is, it's like <laughs> squeezing a tin of toothpaste. So there's that bit in, and you might find sometimes they kind of break out of their skins a little bit, but that's okay. Just give it a squeeze, and kind of because it's all soft and squidgy, the, the sort of the outer layer is the one that you've sacrificed, and that's sort of crisped up a bit, but the rest of it is good to go. And it's just all the natural sugars inside the onion have caramelized, Ooh. and you've just got this really sweet onion flavor. It's delicious. It really, really is. And so simple. So do you see that, Emily? Yeah. Snip that off and then squeeze it in. And that's it. Great way to use up onions and then they are cheap as chips. Now, garlic, you see that bulb there? Do you see that yeah. stalk? Just with a pair of scissors, snip it off and look what's happened to the garlic now. Yeah. It is just caramelized. It's sweet. It's like garlic toffee. It's blooming amazing. Well, that's spread on a piece of toast. so good. Now, don't throw this away yet, okay? It's really important that we hang on to that because there's some marmite flavour juices in there and they are going to finish the soup. Amazing. So, I'm going to bring that pan up to the boil. And just to recap, all we've got in there is the inside of the roasted onions and the bulb of garlic, all right? That's it. And a pint of vegetable stock. Now, we're going to make a loaf of bread, okay? So, I'm going to make a Nelson. It's inspired by a Nelson bread, which is not a yeasted bread, okay? So our raising agent will be bicarb. So it's a little bit like a soda bread. So the Irish style soda bread. So, teaspoon of bicarb in there, self-raising flour. Now, if you can't buy self-raising flour, if you're watching this over in America, you want all-purpose flour. Um, and in that all-purpose flour, you want to be adding your baking powder to it. And then we add the bicarbonate of soda to this. We're going to go in with our nigella seeds, or onion seeds if you like. They're really kind of savoury flavour, and it kind of works perfectly with our onion soup. So we'll just give that a quick mix. We want a little bit of salt for seasoning. Season your bread. Okay, and then make a well in the centre. Can we see this alright, Emily? Yep. Yeah, we're all good. I've got some yoghurt, so a good tablespoon of plain yoghurt, all right? And that acidity will react 
with the bicarb that's in this flour. So I'm just going to grab some water. Okay, so I've got my yogurt in here. I have got my self-raising flour. I've got nigella seeds. Um, I'm going to put a drizzle of honey in, just for the sweetness. It kind of just works really well. And then we're going to add the water in. The yogurt and the bicarb are going to react, okay? And that's what is our raising agent. So no yeast in this. So just give it a little mix. And there's also no kneading. All we have to do is shape this. Okay, so it's a really good quick bread because it bakes while this is ready. So there's no kneading at all, which is really good. Add a little bit of water. You'll find that on warm days, you need a little bit more water than the recipe states. But as a consequence, also on cold days, you'll add a little bit less. So it's very much about looking for that right texture. Have you made soda bread before, Adam? I don't actually think it's not? something that I've made. I've seen you make it a few times, sure and it's really have. delicious. I'm I've sure never actually have. made it myself. Uh, right, a little bit of flour on there, just to help us. Because the minute you mix this together, the bicarb starts to react, and you can, it becomes a light dough. I need to get this in the oven really quickly, you see. So we're not kneading it as such. All we're doing is shaping it into a loaf shape. Okay? It's rustic, this bread, but it's quick and it's easy and it is delicious. The nigella seeds give it such an amazing sort of savoury flavour. And then you get that little hint of honey in there. It's, it's a good bread. You can almost use wholemeal. You can also use wholemeal flour as well if you want to. So I have got my Masterclass um, Smart Ceramic Loaf Tin. So it's non-stick, don't need to line it. It's brilliant. And then I'm just going to score it like that. Open it up a little bit, about a centimetre deep. Give it a little dust of flour. And then that's going straight into the oven for about 45 minutes. Right, my loaf of bread is baking. It shouldn't take too long. Soup is up to the boil. So now, we, all we need to do is blend it. Okay? Really, really simple. It's, it's, it's embarrassingly simple. Really. Bring it in a little bit. Into there? Yeah. You see yeah, there, all right? Perfect. All we're going to do is blend it. You don't need cream, nothing with this. It's, all we're going to do is blend it, season it, and we're ready. So could this almost be like a cheap, but is it similar to, a, I don't know the difference, to a French onion soup, is it? No, a French onion soup is where you caramelise the sliced onions right. um, until they're golden brown and really sweet and caramelised, and then you add a beef stock, so it's a very thin soup and it's not blended, whereas this is all about just pure sweet onion. Mm. See how it's going quite sort of creamy yeah. without adding cream, so it's quite healthy, you know, it's good for you. Okay, so we're nice and blended. So now is the time that you would taste it and season it and adjust it according to your taste. So, if I have a little go on there, it will definitely need salt because the salt was on the outside of the onions and it won't really have made it in there. A little bit of salt, and I like a little bit of pepper in my uh, soup as well. So let's just mix that together. Okay, so that is done. So what I'm going to do is just get a bowl and we will serve one of these up. And let's not forget all the roasting juices that we've left to one side because they are the best. They really make this recipe, okay? So let's pop our soup there. And then let's get back to these. Look at these, Emily. Look how golden and delicious. Yeah. I mean, you know that is going to taste good. Yeah. Now you can do one of two things. You could add this to your onions and blend it all up if you want. But what I really like to do is just do this. So you get that really sort of tart, roasted dish. 
juices and it just looks amazing. It's sweet, it's sticky. I kind of call them the Marmite because it is. it looks like Marmite. There we go. Pop that there. Let's not forget our bread. So look, we've got our beautiful loaf of bread here. Put that down there actually. And non-stick, look at that straight out, super easy. Let's grab a bread knife and cut some of this amazing bread. Super easy. Oh. That's a good crust that, isn't it? It is. And it's like it's 101 bread making. If you've never made a loaf of bread, this is where you get your confidence to start making more bread because it's super easy and it's delicious. There you go. Let's have a little taste of this. I know it's going to be good. I just know it. Silence. So delicious. I cannot believe how good that soup is. All it's got in it is onions, garlic, and vegetable stock. Cheap, nutritious, delicious, so easy to make. That loaf of bread is just perfect with that. If you want the recipe, go to petersidwell.com. You can get it there along with all my other recipes. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next episode.